because that's the reason why musicians, composers in the 19th century gave those metronome marks. Because they were not always, and in Chopin's case, almost never, the, the, the performers of their own music. And they knew that times were changing. Uh, music was in a huge evolution. The virtuosic culture uh, was there, the Talbecks. I mean, also list in a certain way, if you want. I mean, this was unstoppable. And so they knew in this like completely chaotic landscape of music that they had to do something in regard to, you know, giving musicians that still want to, you know, inspire or align their own taste or their own performance with what the composer had in mind with the metronome mark. That's the reason why the metronome, metronome was invented. That's the reason the metronome was not invented because Mr. Melzel someday thought, let's invent something that, that allows composers to give a metronome of a tempo indication. You know, the Melzel came not as a first. There were many attempts, but Melzel came because there was the composers were just you know, begging for something to fix their tempo, their ideal tempo, because yes, changing tempo changes everything. And so when it comes to um, musicians that want to stick to a metronome mark or just take the metronome mark at least as an inspiration, then stick to that. And if it doesn't work, think about why it doesn't work. 